Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. So in between episodes, I took time to level off this area. Oh, we got some visitors. So I've leveled all this off, so it gives me a better idea of uh, how I can lay things out. And I put in some roads, or at least some of these path blocks. Um, I may go ahead and convert them all over, you know, to be similar to this. But for now, it's pretty easy just to mark out the path blocks with a shovel. And then I started putting uh, in the walls and stuff. Let's see what this guy's got. He won't have anything good. Slime balls. Sometimes slime balls can be good. I don't. The dye. Melon seed. Melon seeds. I guess if you don't go to a jungle. But I did go through here. We put in all the wall through this. We have all the wall going down through here. This goes all the way around. So this is all going to be uh, farmland. So we'll put more wheat and stuff through here. I need to get some more fence here. I got plenty of spruce. So I cut all that spruce down over here. So I've got plenty there. And then this is all going to go around this way. We'll do some more crops. Maybe some carrots or something over here. So I think I'm going to do a whole field of like carrots, whole field of potatoes, the, you know, continue the wheat across just to make it look like it's more agricultural through here. I am going to put right here a big tower. So I figured this will be the bridge going over to that side. So I'll put a tower here, kind of a gatehouse with a bridge that goes across and the gatehouse on that side. And then the road can continue on that way. And I think, yeah, there is icebergs over there someplace. I think this, a lot of this is spruce and cold, you know, snowy spruce like that. Oh, you know what that means? There is an underground um, biome with the, um, uh, you with the hanging garden type stuff with the vines and all that kind of stuff in there. That's pretty cool. But I figured this would be a good spot over here. I was looking, there's not much over on this side. It kind of curves around, but this narrows right here. So it'd be a good place for a bridge. And I need to have the road go this way anyhow at some point. Just to connect everything. I need to go through and clear all this out. All this is going to be at the same level I am right here. I'm going to take that little island out there and kind of just make a better... A better like a uh, cove here with another dock so there's another so uh, just kind of clean this up so this is going to go all the way around over that way and then up here I'm going to put in probably a barn with some cows and some pig and some sheep oh and some probably chicken because chickens are here too so all the animals will be up here Oh, I don't need the sheep. I've got the sheep pen over there. So that's the sheep. So it'll be just chickens and pigs and cows. And I was looking at this. I have that wall. It goes way over and above that building there. And I don't think I want to bring it all the way across here. So this one, I'm going to cut this hill back. So this will be back probably at this level back to probably there so they'll connect so I'll have this stairs going up here and then I'll level all this off just do a portion of it through here and just a small strip it goes over this way because I don't want the wall to be this high when I've got this building here so I want it to go below the building so down here, it should be able to go below the building because I've got actual walls inside there. And then bring it back around. So I'll, so I'll have this coming through here, around, and then the stairs will take it down, I think. Yeah. 
So I can't take it all the way down. I thought I was going to take it all the way down, but I can't. So I'm just going to build the wall up here. And this will be a small path leading to stairs that go down. And then the wall will continue up back that way. So these will be stairs going up here. And then this is a tunnel which connects with my other tunnel over there. So those are the plans. Now I just have to execute those plans. So I guess this, I'll push this back a little bit. I'm going to have to level, I'll have to figure out where this level is and kind of level, clear out all these trees and level this and terrace it. So this will go back a little ways and then yeah, it looks like there's already stairs going up that way. Then we'll do the same thing. Well, not stairs, but the same thing. Level all this off. Looks like this is kind of a natural hill. So I'll just probably push all this dirt and fill in down here. Let's see, maybe carry around. Yeah, I'll just sort of carry it around here with a level at this height until we match up somewhere around here below at the bottom. We'll try and match up with that, the bottom of that police tower over there. And then all this will be pushed back a bit and make walls. I need to push that wall back away from that building, probably way over the here. And I need to clean all this out. So lots of tree removal. But I do need a lot of spruce because I need a lot of fence because I got fence and need to go on all those walls over there. So I'll probably do all the dirt removal just between episodes, kind of like I did out here because it's sometimes not that exciting. Well, my life's never exciting, really. So I guess we should start on this wall here. So we have this wall right here. So let's see if I can get up here. I'm going to carry this down. If I carry that down like that, fill in these. Um, yeah, and then I guess we just kind of uh, take the wall like that. Do I have, um, I don't want so much all granite. And all stone. Let's see. You would have thought I'd be a little more prepared through here. It's getting dark anyhow, so let me uh, get some sleep and then I can actually grab the blocks that I need and get to work on that. Okay. Oh, I left some of those. Okay, I think I've got an idea now. Oops. And I got the wrong things on my heart. There we go. So if I do, if I put that in the wrong spot, ah, come on, get with the program. So do this here. Mm -hmm. That. How's that? That's different. Let's get a look from over here. That's different. I've not done that cap on the wall before. I think that works. So we have this one here, and then I want to let's see one, two, three, four. So let's mark that, that. Actually, that needs to go back. Putting in uh, 
a doorway here because we're going to do a building in there. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this. There. So we got that there. I don't know why I'm pushing this back. Because I'm not going to go all the way back like I was on this one here. Because the wall is going to be here. But I think what I'm going to do, actually, one, let's move it over one more. Just trying to keep up the same aesthetic on either side. I think the best way to do that. Oh! is just kind of putting a fake wall there. So then I can do this like I did before. I don't know if you've noticed, I'm just sort of winging it. I've got a, my, I've got a simple idea, which is put a building here. Oh, I don't need to cap off the top of these. That's good. Uh, probably can pull this one back. And then this can be something completely different, I think. Let's do that. Right now, I'm not quite sure how. Hall, this is going to be. But I do know the wall is going to go there. And we'll just stick, oops. There. Yeah, so the wall will go here. I may have to push it away from that building. Yeah, I won't know the whole height of that until I clear out that and bring this over. I think it may end up there. I'll have to see where I'm going to end that. It may be higher. But essentially, this is all just going to be, this will be the bottom of the wall like that. Yeah, so I got a good balance on that one. So that's not too bad. Oops, I can't do. Oh, I should have known that wasn't going to work. the same thing over here. So I kind of got these two columns flanking the uh, the door. Yep. And then we'll just fill in the front of the building like that. This is another one of those kind of storage sheds here. So now I just need to clean out the inside. Oh, and then do a do something up top to finish that off. Because I think over the door I'll do this. So then you go down and you go inside. So I just need to uh, clear out the inside so we can finish it. So 
So we have our door. Let's pop this out. So to finish the front here, we'll do that. Let me stick a couple torches here just so I don't have unwanted visitors. That's there. I did miss those. There. There. And then I can put a light on either side here. So there is our front of our building. Now, I didn't have a clear idea what I was going to use it for, and but I, now I do. I'm going to make a, a reed farm or sugar cane farm. So let's just kind of get started and lay this out. I'll show you what we're going to do. So here is the water is going to go there. So I need a row of dirt. So this is where the sugar cane is going to grow. This will be a manual harvester farm. So you're going to have to manually run around and pick it up. You'll push a button. All the reeds will be tossed out and then you can just run around to pick it up and then in the middle here I'll have some storage boxes some workstations that kind of stuff so let's kind of give us a path we may need to go get some more red terracotta Ooh, I think, I do have enough. So I thought that would be good for a floor. And then we'll Not sure what I'm gonna do in the middle yet, but I did do the ceiling. So I've got these nice lights and I'm gonna circle those with polished diorite. So they're kind of like inset lights. This will be much easier once I get the floor in. But then you can kind of get an idea what the lights are going to look like, or the ceiling at least. So we have that. You know, I brought everything except what I need for the floor. <laughs> so let me get that. Oh, actually, let me finish up laying this out so you can see it. And then, oh no, I do need one more thing. Hold on a second. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. So this is going to be our central area will be here. I'm going to make it three wide. Plus that will split things up evenly like that. So this will be like workbenches, uh, chests, barrels, that kind of stuff. Let's do a circle of diorite. Like this. I'm kind of going to go with a spiral. So I'll have a circle of diorite, then I'll have a layer in the middle. That's, uh, oh, there we go. So this next layer is going to be cobble. So that gets us our ring here. 
And then we'll just do diorite in the, for the inner circle. Oh, no, no, no. Hopefully I'll have enough. Yeah, I was going to do kind of like a multi-purpose storage room, a warehouse, and then I got the thinking, I do need some more farms around here. And the one farm I don't have is a sugarcane farm. So that will be uh, extremely helpful. Because every once in a while I've needed the sugarcane, I've had to go running back to spawn to get some. I mean, it's not that big of a trip, but it's nice to have it, you know, local. Nice to farm things locally, you know. And this is the industrial farming area, so this is an industrial farm. Let's not do that. I kind of like the way these inset lights came out. And I've got plenty of these sea lanterns. So. Although I did have to mine a bunch of diorite. Actually, this whole area over here, that's why I got such a huge hole over there. Um, it was a diorite vein. So I just went through and mined the whole thing because I, you know... I was out of diorite. I had just a couple blocks. So I figured, well, might as well you know, you know, take advantage of it. While I'm, while I'm digging out something, I'll just take all the resources so I can build more things. Well, that was perfect. I think I ended up with no... Well, I got one stack left over, but that was like two whole stacks right there. Okay, so that gives us the uh, gist of how this is going to look. And we'll just go through here. So the sugar cane will get planted on the dirt as usual. I need a water block beside it. And then above the water is going to be a piston. So when I push a button, the piston will get pushed out, break the dirt. You know, and then um, not break the dirt, break the uh, sugar cane. Let's make sure this works. I think it should. Yes, it does. I'll so break the sugar cane and then we be set. Let's take this. Yes. So I'm hoping this will work. Although, if you know me and Redstone, yeah, sometimes we don't agree or see eye to eye on things. So this should be interesting. So here's where the button's gonna go. Oh, I don't have a block for a button. Let's uh there. Now I have a button. So I'm going to push that button. It's going to send a signal out this way. Let's just fill in this. I do love this waterlog mechanic they added in a few updates ago. Because it makes it so nice. You can waterlog these slabs so you don't have any exposed water. Now the sugar cane is going to fall in the water. So we'll push that, that's going to light that up. Now I think, I don't understand, is this going to work? <gasps> no. 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 Okay, let me uh, rethink this because I need, I need to have this working. Okay, I figured it out. I need to have 
the redstone running behind behind the piston. Actually, why did I do that? I need a full row right there. So that means, let's see, I can dig this out. I need to get rid of these lights, which would cause me a problem. However, um, let's just do, I'm just going to do this for easy, easy maintenance. So we'll just have this whole thing opened up here. Right here. Um, yeah, this will work. Let's put that light there, that light there, that there. There we go, get my lights back in here. Because these lights are actually used to light the room next door. Yeah, so I notice it's a little bit dark. So I will put some lighting in here um, after we get the pistons in, just so we'll make sure this all works. So we're gonna push a button. It's going to go through here, do, 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 and then the piston will go here. Um, so we'll have pistons here. And when the sugar king grows and they're high enough, you want to harvest it, you push the button and it pushes all those pistons out. We do run into a problem, because you see, it only goes so far. It should be like 14. Yeah, I think that one over here. One of these is not getting yeah, so it's stopping right there. Actually, that's a good idea. I can just, we'll just do this, and that's how it's going to be harvested. And I just come through, pick it up, but that tells me where it stops. So right here, I'm going to do, I hope this works. I've not tried this before. I'm just assuming the redstone magic works the same way everything else does. Okay, we'll keep going this way. So that's going to push this one out. This will push that one out. And then there. And they, mm, let's see, I don't need one here. Yeah, I don't need one there, don't need one here. I'm going to do it there. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of that. I'll have to fill this in with blocks. So let's go through here. Let's go plant all this. Plant all this. I can pull these up because I already know where that one's going to go. Put that one there. And that one there. And I'll have one right here too. Although I don't think, oh, actually that will work. Yeah, that'll work. So let's, so yeah, let's push this button. 
Oh, that does work. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so the, so when this powers this, this whole block is activated, so it's like a piece of redstone sitting on top. So like right here, I will need another block, another repeater, and then we will run it all the way there. And we are missing that one right there. Because I don't want to lose any. This is all the um, sugar cane I could get. Um, I went all the way around the city. There's not much sugar cane available. So. This is all we're getting. We'll do this. There. So that should take care of all this. So now I need to fill in the bottom of it. So I thought I would just do that there. But I do need... Okay, this needs to go here. And I really need a light, so I'm going to stick a shroom light there. I'm going to stick a um, couple shroom lights there. And we'll fill in this corner. I have to use solid blocks and all this so I don't get any uh, lost sugar cane. Actually, pick the sugar cane up. That might be the quickest. And I think this is lit enough. I mean, it looks dark, but it's not spawnable, so. So now I just need to do something on the top. Um, I was going to do wall, but I can't because I think the tall sugar cane may get stuck on it because it will have a gap. So there will be a gap right there where the front of the piston is. And we don't want that. So I need to go get a different block, something not oak, maybe just plain old um plain old stone let me think about that real quick let's make sure well that works okay let me think about that i'll plant this maybe while i'm thinking it can grow i think i've got it oops well if i can do this I want to do that. So, oh yeah, so I can do that, okay. I forgot they're not uh, directional. They always go the same direction. I just thought this might give me uh, just a different look. Although I think I'm going to be short. Because I've only got six left. Now I've also got some crafting tables some barrels a chest or two right there just sort of made a mix the different uh, different crafting blocks and stuff some of my I, I mean actually Bunch of them don't have anything to do with uh, sugar cane. But I th my uh, reasoning was I'm just looking for something that's going to fill in the space. Because <laughs> all you need for sugar cane is a barrel to store it in. There we go. I mean, I could put something on the top here to make it look a little um, less not busy. So maybe a brew stand or just something sitting there. I mean, even a torch or a lantern would work too. Let's do this. Just to decorate it up. Oops, a little bit more. So all I need to do is get a few more of these. Looks like a dozen or so. And uh, we should be uh, complete. Well, let's take one last look before I sign off for today. Added in a couple benches here, some shelves, a bunch of uh, barrels, some uh, hoppers that don't really do anything just because I thought they'd look, look good, and a few plants. 
Just wanted to uh, fill it out a bit. It was looking a little bare, so I've kind of enhanced it. And then through here, I put some flower pots on here. One of these stone cutters and some other stuff. Because it was, like I said, it was getting a little bare. I can get rid of these. Because I have the other lighting. So we can give it one try. Or give it a shot. And then... There we go. Let's see what we get. I've got a couple that didn't go out. And I bet those are the ones... Yep, those are the ones with the repeaters on them. So I may have to look at something else for those. But I think, oh yeah, that the repeaters would be here. So the block is there, the repeaters there. The repeater is not going to feed into. It's not going to feed into that piston. So. Um, there is some things I can do probably to to fix that. So I'll, I'll do that later. Uh, right now I am going to say thank you all very much uh, for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye bye now.